Hello and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be building a vault through this east tunnel, connecting it using atrium pieces. Now this is what it's going to look like when we're done. Now I've heard this is impossible, so I've decided to do it without using any mods. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Well, let's get started. After clearing the area out, I'm going to start with a wooden plank foundation piece. Now if you're doing this yourself, you can use any foundation piece. You just want to make sure it's in line with the railroad tracks. And you can check this by going back out the, out the tunnel. And I got lucky on my first try, it seemed to line up all the way down the bottom. So next we're going to add any square floor piece. I've chosen the dark wood plank. We're going to remove one piece, add one piece, remove, and then double click the other piece so it drops straight down. I'm going to continue to do this. Add two squares, remove the middle, drop it down until I get all the way down to the bottom. Alright, once you get down all the way to the bottom, then you're just going to continue with your floor. And you want to set a couple pieces off to the side. I think we can drop it a little bit lower, so we'll move this last piece. You want it to be slightly above the rocks. Alright, now we're going to add any square wooden piece. You just want to add one directly to the outside edge of the ones that you have. Basically on the wall side. Now if you run into one that you're having problems with, like this one, or another one, just go over two, two squares in the other direction. And once we've got all those in, we're going to remove the initial squares from the center, the ones over the tracks. So now we've offset pieces, and they're all lined up the way we want them. We can snap in foundations. Why we're doing this? Foundations snap to atrium pieces. So we want to transition all this into atrium pieces. So I'm going to start going upwards and I'm going to snap in my foundations. Once you get to the top, you may have to clean this up a little bit. Once you get to the top, you just want to double check make sure you're still up, lined up perfectly this is what you should be looking at a bunch of foundations going downwards so now the most difficult part is getting ramps from the vault pieces we're gonna shift all the way to supports and go to the ramp the first ramp this can be very time-consuming you may it may require quite a bit of patience and some problem solving. You may run into situations where it just doesn't snap. So I did on one of these stairs. I got pretty lucky on this. Only on one stair that I, did I have a problem. And sometimes you have to put squares on the side of it. Sometimes you have to remove the foundation piece. But, like I said, you'll just have to figure it out. This is what it should look like once you've got all your ramps in and your foundations. Now all we need to do is get these atrium floor pieces in. Once we do that, our walls will snap in and we're done. So I'm going to start at the bottom and begin swapping out the atrium pieces. Now most of these will snap in just fine, but once again you're going to run into some issues where they may, they may not snap in perfectly or they may snap somewhere they're not supposed to. 
you'll just have to troubleshoot it. I mean, you may need to add a few squares on the side. You may need to remove a ramp. You may need to heighten one of the platforms. Here's an example where I use floor pieces to raise a foundation to the right of the floor piece that wouldn't snap in. Once I've raised that floor piece, I raise the ramp in front of it. In order to do this, you would have to remove the ramp behind it. So I'm going to add, go to floor supports. This is very confusing, I'm sorry, but it's complicated. We're going to add the ramp back that we deleted to get that, to raise that floor. Just don't expect this to go smoothly is all I can tell you. I'm showing you how I did it. I, I can't guarantee it'll work for everyone, but this is the method I used. And I don't know of any other method or anyone else that's been able to do it. So I just wanted to show other people how to do it. And once we've got our ramps and our atrium floor pieces in, you see here I have one support piece. I could not fit an atrium piece there. So I had to use a support piece instead, but it's not a problem. Our walls should snap in and we should be able to connect our vault to both ends of this. All right, this is what I call the victory lap. If everything is done correctly, how I demonstrated on this video, your walls will snap in the roofs, I, I have no idea. You're not going to be able to do roofs on this because of that metal beam. But we're going to take our victory lap here and hopefully everything will snap into place in harmony. We've tricked the game pretty much. We're just going to move all the way up here. And where we added the support in the bottom, we're going to need to turn this around. Other than that, Everything should link in harmony. You can use the same method in the other tunnel. It's much shorter. It'll take you a lot less time. Once you've done it, you know, it should be a lot easier as well. This is not an easy tutorial, not my usual. But, uh, I knew it was possible. I just had to figure out how to do it. You see here, it won't snap to the bottom piece, so I just snapped it to the wall that was above it. Now we're going to continue up. We'll have to rotate when we get to the support right here. We'll flip it over. Yeah, I mean, if you have a large vault in this big room and a large vault in the other room, you're not even going to know this tunnel exists. Throw a few lights on that rail. We've done it. We've connected this tunnel. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like and subscribe.